What's up, everybody? It's your girl Tiff. Yes, this is take two. Um, anyways, so like I was previously saying, um, I have been going through a lot these past couple of months. Um, here, give him the rest of my drink. Hurry up. And, um, you know, at the beginning of my pregnancy, I was being told it was um, vile. It was um, an ecoptic pregnancy. Did I ask you? And stop. And um, there was just a number of different issues. Um, 20 minutes into the medical appointment, and I very quickly learned that I was being seen by medical students, which pissed me off to the extreme. Anyways, with that being said, um, I ended up taking my business elsewhere. I wasn't happy with the way they were acting. Uh, anywhere from the way they were acting to the way they composed their business and things like that. I just didn't think it was professional, right? Anyways, with that being said, I am at a actual doctor now. I am currently about 11 and a half weeks, preparing to be 12. And um, it's a total blessing. Um, I went from being devastated, my heart just being... It, I guess the only word that comes to mind is obliterated, um, and my husband's as well. And now, this is the happiest we've been in a while, um, and basically, the pregnancy's still healthy, everything's good. Um, I've been struggling dietarily. Um, a lot of people are asking me, well, what do I do to eat? Ezekiel! And so, go see what Emma is doing. Hurry up. And so, sorry about that, guys. Um, and so, you know, I've been struggling dietarily for past month or so since I've conceived. Um, and so, from that time to now, I've been eating a lot of, like, cucumbers with salt and lemon and even tomatoes. And actually, they taste super good. I haven't tried it with hot sauce, but that's my next move because I know it takes uh, the morning sickness and all that away. Um, so it definitely, definitely works. Well, anyways, I had explained to my current doctor um, for the past several times that I've been visiting um, that I have this issue and nothing was done. Like, I'm just basically being blown off. Um, and at the end of everything, um, I went to the WIC program, the Women, Infants, and Children, and um, they ended up labeling my pregnancy a high-risk pregnancy due to the fact that I'm having problems eating. Um, you know, it's really been an act of God um, this past month or so because when they took my weight out the WIC center, I weighed 156 pounds. Um, I'm not sure if that's baby and me combined or what the total gross weight is, but I know the baby's weight somehow intertwines with my own. Um, so when I went in, I was 156.2, which I guess at this period of time, it's okay considering my struggle. Um, and other than that, like this past month or so, I've been dealing a lot with like paranormal activity in my house. I was actually asked by somebody else to... To, um, here you go. I'm going to clean your feet. Um, I was actually asked to contact the Discovery Channel, um, TAPS, and a couple of other paranormal researchers. Isabel, if you don't leave your brother alone, you are going to regret. Stop it. Um, and so, basically, um, I didn't want to take that step until things got very severe. Um, unfortunately, things have taken a turn. Things have picked back up. Um, last night, something was communicating with my husband and me via a dead toy. And I mean, you're like, dead toy? What the hell you mean? Simply the fact that this thing didn't have batteries or anything in it whatsoever. And it was lighting up like as if it were brand new. And then at like 3 this morning, I felt like I was being watched. Um, and during the course of the night, I actually felt like my there was somebody by my feet. 
and um, you know I wake up during different hours of the night because of my two-year-old son do you mind thanks and um, you know you know and you know by the act of God you know like nothing happened but it was you know I don't know if it was due to the fact that I was sleepy or uh, you know I just didn't really pay much attention but I definitely felt something there and I was able to put the nonsense aside because I had asked both of my daughters where they slept and they were off to the side of me um, so that instantaneously tells me there was something seriously there um, whatever was there wanted our attention got it um, after both my husband and I realized the severity of the situation um, you know we stopped paying it attention due to the fact that whatever entities in my house has attacked both of us and um, I'm not certain at this time if it will try it again so this is why now at this point I'm really considering contacting the paranormal research team um, taps and any other local teams here in Vegas that could conceivably possibly help me um, you know it's just been a bit nerve-wracking like even right now I'm just sitting in my truck in front of my house and I just really feel this um, how should I explain it? like radiating energy um, and I don't know if there's something there now like when I was inside I was fine but I don't know it tends to change as the day changes so we'll see what happens tonight but guess this time around I am going to record everything that happens like you guys I wish you guys and I really wish I would have recorded it for you guys um, the, the way the toy was going off like this toy takes up to three batteries and right now it has none um, which is why we're like what the actual hell um, and it was like actively lighting up it was actively responding to both my husband and to me um, at one point my husband just kind of walked out the room and I was by myself and that's when I kind of began to confront it. I'm like, I'm not going to let you bully me. I'm not going to let you mess with me or my family, etc. I put on a very powerful prayer. Um, and I'd say for the majority of the night, it was peaceful. But then towards mid-morning is when things kind of resumed and picked up. But, you know, by a true act of God, you know, the daytime came and everything just kind of stabilized itself. But I'm very uneasy at this moment because of the fact that it's becoming nighttime again. You know, we have no idea what to expect today. Um, like I had mentioned, this thing had previously attacked me. So I don't know what to expect, fans. I just know that it's incredibly creepy. Um, the fact that I am... And I'm, I'm really kind of concerned at this point because I am like a month and a half pregnant. And, uh, you know, I want to make sure that it doesn't drain my health. It doesn't drain my family's health, etc. Because for those of us who have studied the paranormal, we know that these are very real possibilities. And they can even cause death. So, with all that great stuff being... Well, no, not great. <laughs> all that stuff being said, um, I'm going to conclude this video. And then I'm going to come back on YouTube in, let's say, four hours or so. After I deal with my husband and the kids and you know everybody's halfway to shutting up then we'll see uh you know what goes on um and i'll definitely start recording as things pick up through the night um i want you guys to witness what we go through on a regular bait well not regular because things didn't start picking up until my neighbors started acting up again so um let's see what happens you guys every night's a different night hopefully nothing happens but you know just pray for my family and our home um, you know, that God blesses us and protects us. And let's see what happens. Alright guys, I'm out. Bye.